Hello there guys, welcome to another episode of Random. Today we'll be learning how to make a Pythagoras cup right here at home. This is a really simple build and this is all and these are all the items that we require. We need a plastic bottle, a hacksaw, a hot glue gun, a pair of scissors and a short length of plastic tubing. So let's get started. So first we take our plastic bottle and we use a hacksaw to cut off the lower portion of this bottle right here. So we cut it here so we get this portion. This will be our main Pythagoras cup. I have now cut the bottle and what I have is a crude cup shaped liquid container. What we do next is we use a pair of scissors to make a hole at the corner in the base. So I now have my uh, cup shaped liquid container and as you see I have made a hole right here. The next step is to take plastic tubing of appropriate size and to insert it through this hole we made right here. We insert it this way. Till it all comes out. What we do then is bend this tube and place it in such that the other end of the tube touches the base of the container and this end is outside. We also have to ensure that the bend in the tube does not, does not cross the rim of the cup. It has to be nearly an inch or two inches below the rim. What we do next is we use a hot glue gun and get this hole sealed up to prevent any leakage of fluids. Okay guys, so I have completely sealed this gap right here. This will ensure that this container is completely watertight and we won't have any liquid flowing out through those gaps. So now that we have made the Pythagoras cup, let's test it out. So here I have two vessels, one is empty and one has red colored water in it. So let's check this out. I'll keep this here and start pouring in the red liquid into the Pythagoras cup. So here goes. So as you see, I have filled the water till below the bend in the pipe and as of now there is no water leaking out so I can, this is the safe limit of the water I can take in this container. If I take any water beyond this, wait and watch. As you see I have crossed the bend in the pipe and now we see what happens. Due to the siphon effect, all the water in the cup will now be drained. And now we see it in action. Okay guys, so now we have seen that the entire cup has gotten empty. This just goes to show that once we cross the safe limit of this bend in the tube right here, when we fill water above that level, all of it gets drained out. So now we know how to make a Pythagoras cup and we know we have seen it in action. So now it's time to see how a Pythagoras cup actually works. So now let's get to the physics behind it. Okay guys, so here is a rough sketch of the Pythagoras cup, a cross section of it. As you see, this is the cup right here, the vessel. This is the tubing and this is the fluid which I filled in. So this is how it works. Uh, as I fill fluid into this vessel from outside, the water level keeps rising. Now as this water level rises, the water in the tube too starts rising, like so. Now the safe limit of this cup is till this bend right here. That's because once I fill water above that limit, wait and see what happens. So from so from the basic laws of fluid mechanics, we know that across a plane, a horizontal plane, pressure at all points will be the same. So once I cross the safe limit of this bend here, we have a, the column of water we have in this tube, two increases. And once we fill our water above that, 
this starts pouring into this section of the tubing and all the water flows out. So once that happens, a siphon effect is created which ends up draining out all the water which we have filled straight out of the pipe and straight out. So that was the principle behind the Pythagoras cup guys. I hope you like this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe.